Hello my friends and happy Easter to you all and believe it or not this series is now two years old this month and in front of me well this is every single title that has featured and contributed so far. Exactly! And that's why to celebrate Easter 2014 and our second birthday, I figured I would share 10 of my favourite secrets that have pushed the boundaries, stood out and that just simply cannot be missed. Oh, Is this for me? No. Can I eat it? Yeah. Welcome everyone to the home of finding sweet chocolate Easter eggs within our video games. One of my more preferred racing titles back in the 90s was Namco's Ridge Racer. Sadly I don't own a copy so here's Reach Racer instead. So our first secret we talked about in my Halo Reach weekend back in early 2013. To activate Reach Racer the mission known as Sword Base has to be used and two players are required to complete the task. Which makes it easy to deal with the enemies especially within the courtyard and one of you can use the target locator to take out the wraiths and then it's a simple drive east on a warthog to activate the comma ray where on a rock close to the water's edge an invisible switch can be found which reads hold x to open it actually doesn't do anything until the second player drives off leaving player one behind while he or she goes in search of the second switch that is in close proximity to the anti-air gun task once both players are in position hit the switches together to enjoy an amazing experience for a two-player easter egg Have you ever wondered what a rat might look like holding a desert eagle or a beretta? Yeah, me neither. This one is definitely one of the more craziest easter eggs today and features in my Max Payne episode. The rats with guns can be seen in chapter 1 part 2 but you need to have a grenade to start off with and I never could find one so I always cheat on the PC version. Now all we have to do is chuck a grenade into the large void in the wall immediately in front of Max from the off. After it explodes, simply deal with the mobsters along your travels, head up the stairs until stumbling into a large group of rats that surround Max and then who begin to unload their bullets upon you. Why you? The concealment of Film D has to be placed in the most tedious category, but also one of the best hidden. Film D was discovered long ago amongst a desk in the Stars office on the second floor of the police station in Resident Evil 2, roughly about an hour into the game. The desk belongs to that of Wesker, and on first inspection the game will tell you it's been trashed. Someone must have searched the desk. This continues on for another 49 times until on the 50th attempt, amazingly out pops the discovery of Film D, where after a short trip to the darkroom, a photo of Rebecca Chambers is revealed. Or if you watched my version of events, it was me. And then it was Rebecca Chambers. Next up is one of the most twisted Easter egg levels you could ever encounter. The out of this dimension egg sealed itself away within a huge bird that hid in the asteroid belt on the bottom course. Whilst dodging these large cumbersome objects for about 45 seconds, you should notice two enormous asteroids. One will pass by on the left, then a few seconds later another one will pop up on the right, where at this point you should try to destroy it. If successful, a large egg will sail into the distance, explode, revealing a huge bird that you must touch. In doing so, Fox will be warped to a place which is nauseating, filled with creepy faces, paper aeroplanes that can kill you, and a giant fruit machine boss. Here's a man I guarantee you'll never forget. How could I possibly make a favourites list and not include the commentator from Wave Race Blue Storm on the GameCube? Because once you've heard this guy, I guarantee you'll never forget him. And I'm really not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So the Easter egg activated by entering the options menu followed by the audio settings where you need to change the waveform at the bottom using the Z button so it now resembles mist. 
Next, you need to hit up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, then A, X, and Z, to which an audio cue should ring out. After this, head to the championship mode, select a player, and begin to play, and now enjoy. Or maybe not. Is that the best you can do? Ooh, a turbo! Great. A turbo is wasted on you. Your wins are like diamonds, kid. Very rare. Have you ever thought that you'd completed a video game, but then gone on to find out years later that actually you hadn't? Well, all I can say is... Doom 2. Doom 2. During the level known as Icon of Sin contained in Id's Doom 2, the most devilish of enemies will reel off a speech just as you enter the confines of the final arena. Though to us it will not make any sense and we would normally go on to unload a ton of BFG against it and win the game. However, if you reverse the devilish address, it would say this. To win the game, you must kill me, John Romero. To which you should now enter upon the console command settings, punch in ID click, then push through the wall underneath the final boss to reveal a gully and John Romero's head embedded on a stake. Take two horrifying, gigantic, prehistoric looking beasts, several worshippers, and what do you get? Well, normally complete and utter carnage, but in this case, a game of volleyball. To trigger this unforgettable secret, you must be playing on Saren's character stage in a two player battle. One of you should perform a combo of some description which will make the worshippers walk into the middle, and upon doing so you must quickly hit them into the air so your opponent can knock them back to you. After several punches, kicks and flicks, to sheer disbelief, an umpire and a volleyball net arise, allowing you to compete to win points for the next 30 seconds. Not a bad easter egg either, considering this game came out in 94. Here is two video game cases having a conversation. You are Mr. Gay. Yeah, I am. Are you? This conversation came about when it was discovered Super Mario Galaxy's box art contained stars next to various letters. That read, once deciphered, you are Mr. Gay, or Mr. Happy. Upon the sequel, it's not so obvious until the message was read backwards, this time reading to a return of the conversation, yeah, I am. Are you? If I was booking a holiday to a video game destination, then this would be it. Diving back into one of my first episodes where Super Mario Sunshine offered up a place known as Serena Beach. At first you would not notice but this entire area was shaped in the form of a GameCube controller, where the grass represented the left and right handles. The first beach pergola formed the directional pad. The palm tree in the distance makes up the analog stick towards the center where a flame can be seen. Well, that's the start button. Then you have the bodies of water that represent X, Y, and A buttons. And finally, one more pergola. Well, that's the C stick controller. To finish off, I thought we'd celebrate with a party in an elevator. To complete our Easter extravaganza, I thought I would see us out with a party that is located in Mission 7, Dead Man Walking upon Crisis 2. After breaking into the bank, you can ride an elevator downwards to where eventually you would open up to a corridor filled with paintings, a red carpet and a barrier to your left. You can hop over this where another lift awaits, though it doesn't do anything, that is, until you make your way past several vaults and activate a switch where a red light will illuminate. Now, head back to the elevator. Well, happy Easter to you all, and here is my finished handcrafted Easter egg. Oh, James, do you need that box for the egg you bought? <laughs> <laughs>